Hello, this is Nathan Lott, and on this week's App of the Week, I'm going to be talking about Bartender 4. Bartender helps you manage your menu bar apps up in the Mac menu bar. Before we get into how it works, let's take a look at the pricing. So we'll go into my web browser of choice, Firefox, and go to macbartender.com. It is $15, and you can also have a four-week free trial. So let's take a look at some of the preferences in Bartender. The icon is this little bow tie here. And if we right click, we can go into preferences. And let's start in general. So you can choose whether to start or launch Bartender at login. You can click on the menu bar to show or hide menu bar items. So if I click up here, that will show it or if I click on the icon that will show it. And notice that it's right underneath the cursor where I click. You can also just move the mouse into the menu bar to show the hidden menu bar items. So if I move it to the left of the screen flow icon here, I can see all of the hidden menu bar items. And it's just a matter of moving the mouse up. You can also set the delay all the way from 0.2 seconds to one second. You can use bartender bar to show hidden items. So it will either be underneath or it will take up the whole menu bar and get rid of the other menu items that are part of the applications for like help, window, view, arrange, action. I think I like having the little main bartender bar un showing underneath, so I'm going to click that on. You can automatically hide menu bar items after, again, after showing them. And then you can choose the icon. I like the bow tie, but you can have the three dots, a waistcoat, bartender, glasses, a star, a box, one dot, or an arrow, or choose your own image. You can say whether you want the menu bar item to be visible or show a hidden item divider. And then you have your spacing. Right now it's set up for the default Big Sur spacing. If you want, you can go to smaller spacing, which is Catalina and before. Or you could, if you have a laptop, you may want no spacing at all where the menu bar items are very tight. I can't change these to show you because it means that I would have to quit Bartender and log out and then log back in to my Mac. And I don't really want to do that while I'm recording. If you have multiple screens, you can hide all the menu bar items on an inactive menu bar. So if I had another screen open, you would just see the other screen. It would just show the standard menu bar items like sound, control center, Siri, and the date. Those are the built-in ones. If I had that checked and I was on another monitor, that's what you would see. And that was kind of messing me up when I was trying to record for this. So I went ahead and unchecked it. Now this is the heart of how Bartender works, the menu bar layout. The menu bar items that are shown if I wanted Hazel, for example, to always be shown, I could drag it up there. And you can see that it is there. If not, I can drag it back to the hidden menu bar item. I can also order them in whatever way I want. And then on the third line is always hidden. So these are like server things for me, like Air Server, or I should probably put Clean My Mac up in the hidden about this malware bytes and then screens connect screens is another app that lets me access my mac from somewhere else so those are f those server types of things are fine being hidden and then you can add a spacer so i have a spacer between the built-in menu items and then the bartender items and all you do to add a spacer is just drag this up into the shown so if i wanted to 
have a space between one password and iStat menus, I could do that. And I could have multiple spaces. So really space it out. And then if you don't want them, you can just drag them back. Next is show for updates. So if you had a laptop, you could just show it when it's on battery power or time machine. You can show just show it when it's time machine is backing up or just show the Wi-Fi signal symbol when it's not connected to a Wi-Fi network. And then you can add your own. So some icons may change when, when they are in, in use. For example, ScreenFlow has a circle in the middle when it's recording. And when it's not recording, it's just a blank camera. So if you had ScreenFlow Helper, and I'll create a show for that, and I, I show that when the item has any change, if I had this hidden, when it was recording, it would always be showing up. You can also write scripts if you know how to do that kind of thing, either Apple Script or Python or anything like that. Next is hotkeys. And these are all blank to start with, but you can add your own. So I added Control Option Command I to show all of the hidden items or Control Option Command B to show all of them, even the ones that are always hidden. And you can see that takes up the whole menu bar. You can also have a hotkey for searching if you want to find a particular menu bar item. I don't know what I haven't used, so let's try. So we'll do Shift, Control, Option, Command, and Apostrophe for a quick search. And now I can search for any of my menu bar items and go straight to that menu bar item. If you have a menu bar that does not have a heart hotkey activation, a lot of them already do. But if it does not, you can add them from here with an add menu bar hotkey. So this has all of your, your menu bar items and then you can add a hotkey to each one if you want to or if it's not available to begin with. Under advanced, if you're on battery power, so you're on a laptop, you can dec decrease show for update checking. It will check for updates less often. I'm on a desktop, a Mac mini, so it doesn't really matter. You can either choose to show, remove the application menu when needed or uh, just show it. So if I uncheck it, and I go back to general and uncheck use bartender bar. That will keep the screen flow menu there, but it will, will not show everything because it gets cut off. So what I want to do is use the bartender bar underneath to show everything. Or go back to advanced and have this checked that I remove the application menu. Advanced is also where you check for updates. And that is pretty much it for Bartender 4. It is a really nice app for making sure that your menu bar is not too cluttered. You can arrange it any way you want to. And you can have those apps that you don't really need to access all the time hidden away. And that is it for this week's App of the Week, Bartender 4. I hope you enjoyed the video and talk to you next time.